Cheers, my man. Yo, it's been a while, brother. Episode 14. 14. Oh, <laughs> hello, mm. hello. <laughs> Yo, I love making this boy choke on that water. Don't make and that choke. liquid. Don't make me choke, boy. Don't make me choke. All right, what's up, everybody? This is episode 14. Uh, last episode... I went glamping, brother. Uh, yeah, it was a glamping special, so I was not able to be there, but uh, Brian well, had a good time. What were you doing, brother? Were you uh, choking the chicken? Or, uh, uh, I had some fam. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I, I had some fam stuff I had to take care of. Um, I had uh, I had some stuff going, what do you on, mean? At, going on at home. Nah, uh, my dad, my dad's got some like health problems, so like we had to help. You want to go to hospital? Share that or I, no? We'll talk about it later. I'll okay. talk about it later when it's more official. Oh, okay. Yeah, but All it was right. it was a good time. I saw the uh, episode thirteen. It was good. I missed you, brother. Yes, man. Yeah, I dude, wish it you looked were like there. a good, good time. Yeah, yeah. You saw my pictures, right? Well, anyone who yes. wants to look at our pictures, it's at uh, at stv 0 on our Instagram. Oh, is it? We don't have a lot of pictures uh-huh. up there, but uh, <laughs> we we just have like our little group photos and stuff. But yeah, man, it was it was awesome. We Dude, paid, it looked like a blast, man. We paid around like a hundred sixty dollars, mm-hmm. right, per for, night for how many people? Um, the caravan, it you can fit like honestly, you could fit like three people in there on the caravan but there's a there's a bed for two Mm -hmm. and like a full-size bed Mm -hmm. and then there's kind of like a couch area Uh, uh and then also there's a dining table with like uh like um two stuff rows of seats or two Mm. whatever Mm. like like at a like at um uh at a at a what do you call at diners you know like they have the whatever fuck what is it called you mean the (laughs) the uh (laughs) You know they at oh, the booth. Fuck. You know the like boots. the booth. Yeah, yeah, oh yeah, my yeah. Fuck, dude. What well, was our English man? I know. <laughs> Being in Korea sometimes. Wanna go? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. English. Um, there was a booth. Yeah. So yeah, man, it was uh, sufficient for the six people that we had over mm. there. And yeah, man, it was so fun. Like our caravan, it was attached to kind of like a gazebo thing. It had a roof, mm-hmm. and then <clears throat> it had um a grill. Uh huh. So, so did you and, guys eat outside or inside? Outside. So it's like it's literally like a trailer, right? It's pretty much a trailer. Uh-huh. That's, it's like a mobile house, dude. That's nice, man. It's fucking sweet, and it was like pretty nice inside. So yeah, better than we expected. So yeah, it was a uh, hundred sixty per night for like I said, you could fit like three people in there. Uh huh. <clears throat> and yeah, man, it was a blast. But you had four people, right? Four people. Uh, five. You guys had like we had six people. Oh yeah, yeah six people, were, dude. But we had we were we planned to just have two people in each caravan uh-huh. to like sleep comfortably. Mm. So yeah, man, it was it was great, man. We had a lot of our boy Kyungmo. Mm. Shout out to Kyungmo. He's a Korean friend of our local friend Shout of ours. Shout out to Kyungmo. He acquired like fresh like pork. A fresh pork <laughs> <laughs> from the butcher. Oh. oh it's, it's, Oh. Yeah, so um yeah man. It was it was really like for those of you who don't know, like Koreans eat a lot of pork. A what? Yeah, a pork. Uh, <laughs> it's called yeah. samgyeopsal. samgyeopsal. We had samgyeopsal yeah. and mm. moksar. Uh-huh. So do you know what samgyeopsal is? Like do you know what why it's called samgyeopsal? It's three it's layers just... of like fat and meat together. I heard but, that, but yeah. I also heard it's not it's not that. So it is. I was gonna ask it's you. It's three it's three layers of okay. something. Motherfucker. <laughs> Why don't you Google it? <laughs> um, three layers. Bitch. And uh, Moksar is just the, the neck. Right? Oh, <laughs> just strangled by the fucking neck. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. So I'm starting it's been out a like while. this. It's been a while. Yeah, man. yeah. You're just blowing up all that energy. Oh, that's so pent up. Wh- where was this glamping? Where, where, where was the location? It was, um, it's in Kapyong, which is like an hour from East Seoul. Is it like uh? Is it like it's east si- of Seoul? Is it so. like totally rural? Like there's nothing there? Yeah, and there's not nothing there. It's uh, for those of you who know where Hanam is, Hanam City, mm-hmm. where Starfield, the there's a the mall, mall right? is. There's a yeah. mall called Starfield. There's a mall called Starfield. It's a new mall. It's built like a Western style it's mall. It's nice. I heard. It's like Garden State 
What is this called? Garden State Plaza? Yes, bro. Oh my you god. You forgot GSP? Fuck. I was thinking of, for Dude. some reason, I was thinking George St. Pierre. I was like, wait, oh. is it? <laughs> okay, called, GSP. GSP, That's right? the mall near our house in Jersey. Yeah. yeah. Or it's and called upstate, Westfield, upstate. right? In Paramus. It's yes, called yes, Westfield, yes, yes. right? Yeah. Yeah, whatever mm, the, Westfield. Whatever floats your boat. But anyways, it it's built like that, man. Uh. It's got four floors and it's like actually wide. A lot of Korean malls are kind of like... They're like they're towers. They're higher. They're yeah, high yeah. as hell. Because, yeah, even Costco's in Korea are like stacked on top of each other. Yeah, There's yeah. no land. Oh, my God. <laughs> Don't get me started on Costco, man. I fucking hate Costco So what Korea. about Costco? <laughs> my God. Like, Jesus Christ. You can't, you can't go anywhere You can't maneuver. Costco. Yeah. No Yo, way. but back to, back to glamping, man. I'm really, I've never been there. So, like, what can you tell? Like, what are some tips that you, sh- you could tell people? Well, let's if- say you're not Korean. And you you came here like a month ago, mm-hmm. but all your friends are like, "Yo, I heard glamping is really cool. Uh, I want to go, but I don't even know Korean. I don't know where to start. Where can you like find glamping stuff?" You know? Um. Well, if you go on Naver, and oh. I have to correct you on this because <laughs> what what <laughs> actually Naver is not neighbor. Did you know that? Oh, it's not. It's not. It's oh. it's like navig navigator. What? Yeah. I heard it's Navigator, so they just made it like Naver. Oh God, really? Yeah, I might be wrong, actually. So, I don't know, so I, it might be. Mm. I might be right. I might be what wrong. What if we're both right or wrong? But want to uh, make out? Uh, <laughs> so, uh, oh no! I thought we had a connection going. <laughs> no, on. no, no, no. No. Okay. Nope. Um. So, what was I saying? Oh yeah, you can find it on Naver. I uh, just type in yeah. glamping. If you have a Korean friend with you, you can get him to type glamping. And mm-hmm. uh, what glamping essentially is, is like a glamorous camping. It's such a fucking stupid name. Is that but like a it's westernized like, it's just a mm, luxurious term? um yeah. It's not a I know what you're saying. It's yeah. not like a Korean made up word. It's not. It's a, it's actually no, like no, it's like a real thing. So if you're like in the States, like yo, mm. let's go glamping. glamping. Yeah, yeah, I think it's not as like mainstream. That's why like when yeah. we l- hear it, we're like kind of bullshit is glee <laughs> like, it reminds me of glee I I, it, it just makes me mad but <laughs> anyways like <laughs> you did yeah, it though last week yeah man um but actually what we did isn't really glamping mm. we were in a caravan so it's uh but like if you type in glamping sites but some it, of them have uh caravans and you're, you're able to find you know caravans mo- for rent mo- most glamping sites that i looked up in the past are all caravans Oh no! Uh, glamping is like um, it's a tent that that they set up. They already oh, have. Oh right, right. There's like half there. and half, right? If you guys saw, you can... oh my god, dude, I can't, I forgot this last episode. What's that? Yo, what's that Taylor Swift? Uh, fuck, that song, that song, Taylor Swift song. Taylor where, Swift where, song where, where she's in um Africa. That because in her music video, <laughs> people are screaming at me right now. Just type in Taylor Swift. Anyways, um. They're like, ah, just wildest dreams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wildest dreams. Mm-hmm. If you look on, if you if you've seen, chances are you have seen it already. Yeah. Uh, Taylor Swift's wildest dreams music video, mm-hmm. and he she's with um, uh, <clears throat> you know that um, what's his name? Oh my God, his son. What's his name? From oh, Gran Torino. Yeah, Gran. Uh, oh my fuck. God! I forgot. Jesus Christ, we're such dumbass. Anyways, oh my God! Point I being, Clint Eastwood's son. Yes, yes, name? yes. Clint Eastwood's son. He oh has a lot of songs, God. but the the good-looking one, yeah. the one that came out right. So, anyways, <laughs> um, yeah, they're like banging in oh, in the God, okay. in, in the tent. Scott Eastwood. Yeah, yeah, yeah Scott that's Eastwood. Yeah, that's right. So in that tent, that's what. A glamping tent looks like uh-huh. it's like a huge and luxurious version of a tent it's not so like some for those of you who want to check out what glamping is like check out taylor swift's wildest dream song she's so hot do you like her new album dude i'm not really into taylor swift oh shame on you uh, but actually her new album is kind of whack I don't know. oh is it yeah it's kind you of said, weird you said that she's like becoming more hip-hop yeah, she's trying to have, uh, I think... Deviating her... from her original country style, yeah. innocent girl. Yeah, well, she type. had already. She She's oh. already been like pop mainstream, but now All she's right. like more... Um, she's trying to like um, cater towards the 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 black H- folks. Hip hop? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. To, to get a wider audience. Mm. Um, so yeah, she's trying to be all like weird and stuff. Oh, I don't like it. I mean, because uh-huh. Kendrick Lamar featured in her song, mm-hmm. Bad Blood. So I think she feels like she she's um she 
she's able to like and now she's like oh i'm like part of it now yeah you know yeah, yeah. she feels like, like she's a part of it now like, like, i relate yeah whatever. i hate that shit but anyways going back to glamping yeah man so you can just type in glamping on neighbor and mm-hmm. you'll be able to find like a bunch of like cool glamping sites like, like not no, not just in kapyong yeah um uh, like anywhere uh, like anywhere, right w- whether because mm-hmm. kapyong is in uh Gyeong- is it Gyeonggi-do? yeah yeah, and uh, mm-hmm. Gyeonggi-do is just uh, just outside of Seoul. So the satellite province of Seoul. Mm-hmm. But you'll be able to find ones like deep, like in Gangwon-do. Mm, you like yeah. it deep, yeah. Uh, oh. see, uh, sorry, <laughs> <laughs> well, I was Wait, just being honest. Are we, are we live right now? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. It's too late for that motherfucker. <laughs> I can't handle you right now. I, I went through a healing process uh, in glamping. No, 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 you're good. I became a Christian. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm a nah, Mormon. You're good. I'm a Mormon now, so I can't <laughs> I can't handle your uh, ratchet New Jersey self. What the fuck? Mm. <laughs> anyway, so what do you do in glamping? Like when, when Koreans say let's go we glamping, fook, we eat. Oh, what? I mean, I'm sorry? <laughs> you fucking <and> eat. <laughs> no, uh, we, we <laughs> in that order. <laughs> we um, hey man, like actually when we arrived in uh, Kapyong, there's a cool <clears> place <throat> called Namisom. Some means uh, island, island. Mm-hmm. and so Nami Island. I heard it's nice. It's we couldn't see it <laughs> because it was snowing. Oh Did yeah, you know yeah, it? it was snowing a lot. I don't know about Seoul or Gyeonggi-do. I mean, or this area, Pundang, mm-hmm. but like in our in in Kapyong, it was snowing like crazy. Oh, <laughs> like the the snow <laughs> was super thick. And it just like mm-hmm. it was that sticky snow. Also, it was actually like piling. It was piling up, brother. Oh, not here. Not like here. in it a wasn't span of like an hour. Mm-hmm. In a span of an hour, it was like already like the the, the roads got fucked up. So like, so you couldn't even get around. Dude, you could move. You know, from Nami, because my plan was Nami Sam, chill there a little bit, yeah, and then go head back to our um, glamping site for the check in. Mm-hmm. And so it takes only like around twenty minutes or so. It took us like two hours, man. What do you mean going back and forth? No, no, just uh, I'm sorry. Let me clarify. Just going from Nami Som to the glamping site. Oh, just so you actually way. did go to Nami, but like yeah, yeah, that was our it first was all stop. Too much snow because the check in is at three. So oh, like we okay. had already like what are we gonna do till three? So I was thinking, right, right, okay, right. let's just go to Nami Som, right? Uh-huh. So we went there first, and like yeah, man. Yeah, not, it not didn't, a good time. yeah, it was, uh, I mean, it was, it was fun for the time being because mm. everybody's like in the car, like, you know, being just like having fun and stuff. Right, right. And so, yeah, it was, it was a great experience. Uh, but Koreans don't know how to drive in snow. Let me tell you that. It's like, it kind of reminds me of, well, why, why? What's no, 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 no. What do you mean? Right? Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. Because like, I mean, compared to like people in the, the Northeast I don't think region like of such, America. Yeah, there's like no four wheel drive that's so true Korea, actually that's, that's so why. true yeah 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 you might like be for, right for snow and rain yeah yeah there there might be Koreans some options not. for those Euro- european cars but like as far <laughs> as like korean cars i don't do they i they, don't know maybe they i don't know i mean hyundai i don't know probably does but i haven't seen too many if anything people yeah. don't wouldn't choose that option right? dude there, there's also a thing where like you know what like in the states <clears throat> if, it, if it snows a lot you're gonna the, the government will fucking pay people to clean the roads and shit. Yeah, that's and why the sidewalks. Yeah, yeah, I've seen. But people here do that. don't they don't do that. Oh yeah, they just leave it frozen, dude. And you know a lot of people in Korea die every year from from like slipping on ice, like old people especially. Oh my god, dude, it's chaotic. It's terrible it's like dude like you we need to shovel the snow like pay, know, pay people dude. to do that it's dangerous i know like kids I mean, and elders and that's like one thing i'm like what why aren't you putting more money into that it's not very hard but if you think about it it doesn't snow as much as it does like in new jersey or like I'm, but like new york or upstate new york like nevertheless i mean but, that shit yeah. freezes up like it's pretty that's dangerous true. Yeah, I mean, it kind of reminds me of, like, places like in Atlanta, Georgia, that one time where it, like, snowed a lot. Oh, like, so people that was were, like, a long time crashing, ago. like, everywhere. Yeah, but they like, weren't they ready for that. Yeah, but yeah. the same thing goes for, like, Korea. Like, I know it does snow here, mm-hmm. but, like, not so much that it right. actually, like, piles. Uh-huh. Right? It, uh, not so it much. Does. Not, well, not as much as Jersey, I think. Yeah, it's not the really... East Coast in pro- the States. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But the biggest problem is when it rains overnight and then it freezes and then it's that ice. That's because they didn't shovel the snow. I mean, because... Yeah. 
That's so true, That's, though. That makes me so angry. It does. Because, like, you know, people get into accidents all the time because they, of that. Yeah. Like, you know? I mean, that's, like, everywhere. But in Korea, they should kind of take care of... Take, you know, more care of, of that. Yeah, they should kind, kind of, of, like, like, inf- like do something about it. Like, it's kind of, like, up in the air. Like, okay, like, like if oh, it's yeah. your property, then yeah. sweep it yourself. Yeah, like, yeah, and they don't okay. have the proper, like, equipment as, like, we do in the States, I feel yeah, like. I right? Know. I've never seen an actual, like, shovel, like, being used out here. But I don't know. Maybe they do. No, I don't think uh-huh. they do. I just don't think they hire people to do it. Like... In the states, they hire they they would like pay yeah. people to yeah, yeah, yeah. shovel the roads I've seen, and the sidewalks. I see it all the time, yeah. But here it's like they only do it some places, and in other places they're like, nah, we'll just leave it. Yeah, like yeah, y'all motherfuckers just die. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad. Just slip and get brain damage. So yeah, it's all good. and do they use rock salt here? They do. They do. Then they how do. Come they don't use they it. They do rock. They use it, but they don't shovel it. They just pour that shit all over the ice, and then just they're like, oh, we're done here. <laughs> And they just go. Does it? Do they really that use shit? it? Yeah, they do. They do. Uh, they do. Why is it so icy here? Then, because on the sidewalks. Because it's all about the shoveling. They don't like. They don't shovel. Like it doesn't matter if you put like the salt. You got. It takes time. Right? You got to let to... it dissolve and then you you like shovel it. Oh, but, like right. they just pour the salt. Yeah. And then they just leave. <laughs> They're like, all right, next. And That's one what thing that we do in the states is where we like anticipate the weather. Yeah, and we, you pour salt in advance, right? Yeah, we do yeah. a lot of things in advance. Mm-hmm. Like, if you think about it, if you go to the grocery store, like, if you know there's a thunderstorm, a hurricane, or whether it's a snowstorm mm-hmm. coming, you know the bread's going to be out. You know the milk's going to be out. You know the water's going to be out. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But, like, in Korea, I don't think they have that kind of, like, they're not very, that preparedness. It's not, it doesn't <clears throat> snow as much. That's why, like oh, you granted, said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's but true. that's, I don't know. The only thing that upsets me is that, like, the whole thing. Like, come on, pay a little more money. We're in Seoul. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Seoul's, like, supposedly the capital. You can put in a little, little money to, like, fucking, you know, yeah. shovel the sidewalks, for God's sake. That's true. But anyway, man. yeah, ba- back to Nami. So, like, you were there. And then what do you? What, what can you do in Nami, though? You can't really do much, right? Um, When it's snowing like that? Yeah. We saw some horses. Uh, What? <laughs> Horse, like you? No, but um, what? <laughs> you, uh, we saw a horsey, two horsies. Um, <laughs> Dude, that English I know is you getting can't. so bad. You can't we'll take become... me seriously. <laughs> ponies and horsies. Grown ass man saying horsies. But uh, yeah, they're actually they're ponies. Oh, really? They're just like wild ponies? Like um, running I don't know, around, man? Everywhere? They were just like in the field. They're just eating. What do you like, mean? Like there, there's like no. I've never seen a pony or, or animals in Korea. Yeah, yeah. That's the thing. Yeah, yeah. They're the only animals you see are like the, birds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, there there were two full blown ponies. Wild ponies? Yeah. Like nobody wild. was their owner. Or and some one shit? of them looked like from you know, like in, in the game uh game Zelda. Of oh. Yeah, that kind of like Korean style. Ponies. But uh-huh. yeah, that kind of breed. But it was like a it's short legged, so I'm assuming it's a pony. Oh, why why? I typed in ponies and all these girls come up. Like, Ooh, oh, what are they shit. doing with the ponies? Who is pon- like a ponytail no, or no, like I, I typed doing something? Korean ponies. Korea Koreans uh, with ponies. no, just pony. <laughs> and they're like these girls who are wearing makeup and shit. They're like makeup artists. Any who's? I don't know what's on your history, but going back to <laughs> what we were talking about, porn. I mean, oh, pony. <laughs> yeah, pony porn. <laughs> <laughs> Ew! Pony porn? <laughs> the fuck is that? You know, you just about see like a bunch of ponies go out. <laughs> <laughs> You're a pony yourself. Oh. <laughs> okay. <anyway. laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, we saw two ponies, and then we saw That's Nami cool. from afar. Like mm. we were just walking along the the bank, so mm. the river bank, and then uh, but our two friends, uh, Keith, shout out to Keith and Yo, Hanukkah, Keith. our South Hanukkah. African friend. Yeah. They both um, took a boat ride mm. there to the island, and they said that it was a good scenery. So we were like, "It must be free. It must have been freezing, dude. It was pretty cold last weekend." You know what? The wind wasn't so bad. It was just like it was just a snow. It was it, in, oh. in 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 Kapyong. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm saying like because you guys ate outside. Mm. And I, saw, was, I saw I saw you guys. We it was you, it was we were we were cooling. Yeah, brother. 
What do you mean? We were oh. cooling. Oh no no, we weren't <laughs> like meaning like we weren't chilly. Like we were. Oh, I'm, you were just kind of chill. We were like, chill. Were chill. We were chilling. You know. What I mean? Yeah, because you guys are wearing like fucking. You guys are ready, man. Yeah yeah yeah. We I had was like, la- damn. of course we had some layers. Yeah. You know, base layer and like everyone uh, had a hat on, so you guys have been warm as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but, but um, yeah. So you guys saw ponies, and then you guys like so Hanukkah and Keith. They took a boat. Yeah, they took a boat and they went on the island, and then they did their thing, and then we waited for them. We were just chilling at the cafe. It was good to see the scenery, you know, where it's cool. snowing. You know, mm-hmm. like it, I kind of missed that. Yeah, in man. fact, like yeah. I, I felt like you know, being like from Jersey, we we do get like a good amount of snow, uh-huh. right? Uh-huh. So like I kind of missed that. So I kind of felt like home, but. Anyways, yeah, and that was nice. just for a while, and then I was just like, "Fuck," because like mm-hmm. we, when we were in the car, like we were going uphill, and it's not even, it's like not even that bad, right? Like Thirty right, degrees. Right. I don't know. It wasn't. It wasn't even that bad, and like all these cars were like, they're like stopping. Like, what you mean? You know, like you you want to keep your tires rolling. You want to kind of go up a little bit right like uh-huh. slowly up up up, up. Mm-hmm. or sometimes whatever depending on the situation but you generally you want to keep your car like going but they like they're going they're going and they stop what do you mean in the middle of the road like like oh because they, they like want to check the it hill. out they're like they're going up 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 up, up the hill and then they just stop because you want to check it out no 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 because they get they just got frightened they they're too scared to go any further so they stopped the car, which is t- really dangerous. That's more like, dumb. So we're like, oh my god! So like, we have to keep a safe distance because you never know what if, yeah, if the car is my, rolling down and know. shit <laughs> on, on top of y'all, motherfuckers. And then like, at least a good amount of people did the same thing mm-hmm. and had to eventually make a U turn and go back down. Oh, it, sh- it was that bad. It's like that bad. Yeah, yeah. The and then they're like, kind of wor- they're like workers there. I'm glad you're here. <laughs> there are workers there. And, like I don't know what they said. They're like workers. <laughs> I was like, workers, uh, where are you working? <laughs> what, what are you doing but outside? They're like knocking on windows, and they're like, yeah, you got to turn back that because is, it's too dangerous. That's your job. And then me and Keith, me and Keith were like, yeah, this is like You're nothing. A, you are fucking useless. Get out of the way. I'm going up the hill, man. <laughs> Come yeah, on. Me, me and Keith were like, you're, you're a waste of time. Yeah. Anyways, uh, <laughs> you know, Keith's from so angry. Keith's from Canada, and I, 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 you know, I went to school in Buffalo, so I was like, this is like nothing. But right. anyways, uh, our driver is a local Korean, and so yeah, she was too scared to go up, so oh. we're just like, all right, let's get back down, and eventually oh, we okay. we got to the camp, uh, the camping site. Um, two hours later, bro. It was supposed to be a two minute Z- route. Zam. Yeah, and then we just got <laughs> straight to it, man. We got a mini What'd keg. We popped that, and oh, then shit. we um, mini keg of beer. Beer, and, uh, and that's how get sale. Yeah, the the pork. We, <laughs> <laughs> we grilled that bad boy up. Just the pork. Yo, you man, we had four point two kilograms of Meat? pork. Yeah, how many? How much? That's like six people. That's like, and we have three petite girls. <laughs> oh shit, that's a yeah. shit ton of meat. Man. Yeah, man. So we were just like, I mean, Keith is like six two or yeah, whatever. He's he fucking is. huge. I mean, Keith is a big guy. We were like eating a lot, man. Like all the guys were like eating a lot, and eventually you know, we couldn't finish it. We had some leftovers. Mm. I kept everything, and uh, you cooked yeah, that shit man. up at home. Yeah, I, I ate everything. You just had tongue What else did you have? Like Korean food. Um, we, well, we had the, the, the things that go along with it, like lettuce, like, oh, the, but you just had some No, no other meat. I'm hungry right now. No, <laughs> dude, <laughs> you're, gonna, you're freaking me out. I want to eat this guy's ear. <laughs> Ew. Um, but yeah, man, it was, uh, it was fun. And we had the vodka that Kungmo bought from before. And oh the, God. And the thing I hate about that Ooh. is it was absolute, but it wasn't pure it was a flavor oh god that's oh, even worse bro. i was like gagging bro, I, I, reading a... reading like the the flavor oh, like, what? Shit, i don't what even remember man. Oh, i forgot i think that's, I'll the, just o- that's that. the only time i ever threw up while drinking was when i drank peach flavored absolute vodka man when in college mm. that shit was fucking gross oh man disgusting yeah dude it's it's went to the bathroom freaking and gross and... Oh. Oh. Let that shit out, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, man. yeah, and then we played 
we played a card game actually that Keith uh, introduced oh, to yeah. us. Uh, the, the one that we played before, give and take or whatever. And I happened to lose like each and every <laughs> round. So of course you would. pretty much the um the the loser uh of each round each round is like there's a severity to it you oh drink God. like dude Keith you know one time two games. times you drink three times four times so i just kept getting fooked. so like oh. yeah man it was in a, the arse yeah in the arse <laughs> and uh yeah man i was just like i blacked out but it was oh. so fun man it was really fun <laughs> yeah it was great it was dude i would do it all over again we went on a the non-peak season so we paid like 160 dollars so oh, for those of you who want to go glamping you can go on and you know it's that's it's open like all seasons that's so. for the facilities right 160 160 for yeah yeah you could use so the what grill is that? For, for you six, could use six people you, that, for like to use the grill to sleep and everything well the caravan yeah. that we got it, it's for two people with mm -hmm. a maximum of three okay occupants so uh yeah um, so you had two caravans then? We had three oh, for six shit. people. And so that two was, in each caravan. The total was 160 Total was uh, $160. Dude, that's yeah. not bad at all, man. Yeah, it's not bad at all. But we did go in a colder part of the season. But it doesn't matter because the caravan is pretty damn warm and cozy inside. So just a night of barbecue, an hour or so, you're good mm. to go. As long as you wear layers and stuff, you're good. I mean, we could have kept going. We could have, I personally love to like stay, would have stayed outside longer, uh -huh. but it was the girls that were like dying. Right. Like all the guys, like we had like the portable speaker. We were like being rowdy as fuck. Like no one's were around, looking huh? at, no, there was someone who happened to choose the caravan right in front of us. Uh -huh. so they were like kind of looking at us like, oh, shut the fuck up. Uh, well, hey, but listen. I man. was like, Keith, just, just sit right here because he's the white dude. So he's our <laughs> excuse. <laughs> <laughs> the white excuse. So, so see, Keith, like, Oh, okay. I get it. I get it. He is like, yeah, man. It was all fun. foreigners are rowdy, <laughs> dude. It was fun. It was a fun time. But yeah, mm. man. Uh, how you been, bro? I I haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's been two weeks, huh? <laughs> Usually we see each other like every week. Yeah, man. we we do for this podcast and just uh, just chilling. hangs out. Ew. <laughs> yeah, man. I really wanted to go glamping with y'all, but um, yeah, I had some I had some family stuff I got to take care of and. It was Yo, a good what time, time, man? What time did we start? Uh, it was uh, we started around two eighteen ish. Oh no no uh, four eighteen. Oh four eighteen. No, I'm sorry, sorry. Shit, is that the right time? Yeah. Yeah. So it's like been four eighteen ish. All right, whatever. Okay. That's all good. No, I just want to know. Okay. Anyways. Yeah. So. Yeah, man. I mean, I had a lot of stuff, um, like work related things, and like now I'm planning some other, like shit. So next year, a lot of stuff is going to go down. Lay it down, brother. Lay it down. So, Are you able to? Do you want to speak on it or just generally give us a little? Just very generally because I don't want to go into detail yet. You're a but, teaser. Oh. You love that foreplay. Chica, 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 teaser. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that with your uh, fingers. <laughs> so my friend and I, my friend Jack and I, we're going to probably um, start Shout up. out to Jack. Yeah, shout out to Jack. He's a Korean dude <laughs> who I'm uh, we're recruiting buddies. Oh, so, yeah, they um, do work with each other. Yeah, we work with each other in recruiting. And so we're going to start a bar probably in, awesome. in the Hongdae, Seoul area next year. Yo, drinks so, on the house for me? Uh, yes, sir. Dude, course. I'm going to every night. <laughs> All the way from Gyeonggi, Get me Gyeonggi. the most expensive one you got. <laughs> Servant. <laughs> uh, Johnny Blue. But uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 man, that's awesome. So nothing's like, you know, not even the infrastructure is set up yet. Mm -hmm. But we still have to find like locations, but we're like set. We have a lot. Of you look like a bar owner. Like your face. <laughs> what? <laughs> so just turn right over here for our fans. <laughs> The bar. Please, please vote. Welcome to the bar. Yes ba. or no. <laughs> that's all you gotta type. But yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. So like, th that's like been on my mind a lot lately. So, mm. um, a lot of things going on. You know, recruiting is like, you know, it's fun. You I wanna mean, speak always, on? You always some talk? ratchet shit about. Dude, the thing about recruiting is this, man. Like, you deal with people off on online, so you don't really meet them in person, right? But you mm -hmm. develop a relationship with people like 
So you have a cyber girlfriend? No. Oh. Dude, I understand. <laughs> remember that remember that show we watched? That uh <laughs> Hey Approximate. Remember yeah, that yeah, what, yeah, what, what yeah. is that what is that called? Oh my god. It's on Netflix. Yeah. And dude. it talks about like uh people with Oh, what was it? So, it was a series. It's, yeah. That's just one episode, right? So the, the other one was like about porn, right? Like yeah, the like, porn industry, uh, like the behind porn the actors. porn scenes, yeah, and yeah, yeah. like how their their actual lives and shit. But it might it might be Hot Girls Wanted, and that's know. that's not. I'm not talking about the documentary movie. There's there's a series. There's a series. <laughs> we, it so we did watch it. <laughs> but, dude, we were so angry the yeah, whole show. Dude, we were like we were, we're being late, haters. Man. We yeah. were being haters. Yeah. Yeah. If, because it was about this girl. She's like a webcam, you know, webcam girl. Uh, web, oh, sorry. Oh, cam I just girl? remembered her face. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then like she basically has like all these clients that she does like, you know, private chatting chatting sessions with. Right? Yeah, yeah. So they video like, video and one chat. dude like they all have like these usernames and shit too. So they don't call them by their real name. <laughs> so the guy their alias <laughs> names. <laughs> so the guy's like his name is approximate, right? Yeah. Like yeah. His uh his Approximate username. to be Oh my lord. Anyway. <laughs> so he developed they developed this like the cyber relationship pretty much. Cause he pays her to do private chatting chat, you know, sessions where it's like an adult show. It's kinda. not like he has to pay for the service. It's more about donation. Is it really? Yeah. It's whoever gets oh. like the most bid. Oh, and then I didn't like know that. they're just so like they have to pay. And then like I think from what from uh whatever she wants to do, mm -hmm. then she goes like, Oh my god, thank remember she announces it. Thank you, Johnny. Oh Ooh, six nine nine. Uh you've He's donated like twenty thousand dollars. Oh my god, you're so sweet. Uh, yeah. And then like she would like send a private message, uh -huh. and like, you want to do this like one on one thing? Yeah. Oh, and, that's like, how it works. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't remember? I, I mean, don't you remember. do it all the time. But like, <laughs> like pretty much like. <laughs> but the weird thing is, she doesn't show any uh, flesh. I mean, like, the, <laughs> no, she does. To no, him, she doesn't. No, she doesn't show her like a V. Her I box. don't know about that. Her yeah. box, but does she shows her her tits though. Oh come on, like anyone can show tits, but like yeah, it's like soft core. It's like soft porn. Soft yeah, core. yeah. But I'm just saying, she does. It's funny to me because he he's just like um like a middle uh, uh what do you call it? He's just like a he ha he earns like just a humble amount of income. Yeah, and he. But he donated like a huge portion. He's a middle class, you know, yeah, yeah, thirty yeah. something year old dude from Melbourne. From Remember? Melbourne, yeah, yeah. And he donated like how much again? He's like a, I don't know, man. I don't know, <laughs> dude. A shit, a shit ton, right? Couple, couple, couple G's, right? Dude, he's an idiot. <laughs> but oh my god, so he falls in love with her and like basically. What if approximate? Is like a huge fan of our show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Prosper, but we you're just thought you're it. fucking, you're stupid. <laughs> it ended so badly for him. Oh you my know what I'm god, saying? bro! Like I so, loved it. So eventually, the show is about them meeting eventually in person because uh, they've just been web like web chatting it up for the past like I don't know how many three years or some shit. It was cyber crazy. relationship. For it like, was like three literally years or three or some, four some years shit like that. And finally, he was like. He made the first step. He initiated. He was like, why don't you come over to like the Australia? Th I'll pay for your the ticket. The thing is that the weird thing is she has a husband who watches oh, yeah. their webcam sessions in the background. Okay. So basically, <laughs> let me just say one thing. Oh, remember, this is making me so angry. Remember, she was like, so it, it, it had um, reached the peak of their relationship, a four-year relationship. And she goes, happy anniversary!" And then she's... She smacks her ass. Uh -huh. It's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> was it four so times? If you guys counted, that was four oh, times Lord. for four <laughs> for four wasted years. <laughs> oh my god, dude, and that's yeah. so sad. A little bit, cause the guy has she has a fucking husband, and he's like, hey, approximate. And he's like, hey. <laughs> yeah. So it's was like, dude, he, what did the he, fuck? Was he the one with the weird dome? Yeah, he had a weird ass dome. He had like he a was just like on dome. the couch. He had a unibrow he's like, or some shit. He's like playing like I don't know. Yeah, like, he's like just a smartphone game or yeah, some shit like, like that. Clash of Clans, and then she's like Smack. talking with mad dudes. She's like showing her smacking tits. her. You know, yeah, oh man, my smacking God. her ass and like, how would you feel? I don't. 
<laughs> Dude, it's it's so weird to me, man. And she it, was like, she was like telling her husband, she's like, yeah, I'm going over to Australia, you know, to meet or, this guy. Yeah, yeah. And she actually introduces approximate to her husband That's what I'm through the they webcam know each other. They're yeah, like, yeah. hey, approximate. They're yeah. like, hey. And then he's like, guy. he's like, yeah. He's so indifferent about the situation. He's he doesn't like, even look at him. He's, he's like, yeah. Um, yeah, have fun. Uh, be safe. Oh, I don't and know, that's man. Fucking it was crazy, weird. Man. It was this, this, weird. It's this world is like it's so. <laughs> the cyber world is such a weird place, dog. <sighs> anyway, they meet eventually, and he like pours out his heart to her. That Not he's, like, really. he's like, yeah, he's like, he I, does a I like poor, you, but he does a very poor job at doing it. Does he? Because he's an idiot. <laughs> like <laughs> she went. Yeah, I just saw traveled all your teeth right now. <laughs> He, he traveled <laughs> she traveled excuse me she traveled how many fucking miles she's from the states right she's from yeah, america right she's from freaking states brother she, yo to brother. australia the southern part of the hemisphere oh lord <laughs> have mercy <laughs> and then he's like being shy and shit hey brother like Four years. On, we don't man. have time for this shit. You're a grown ass man. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, come, come on. on. Get to the chase. Make your choice here. Get to the. You know and what, what? What did he do? He was like, he did he offer her to stay at his crib? Like she was like, did she say no? Yeah, she's just staying at a hotel. Yeah, right? she was like, no, I'm not oh, staying in a nearby hotel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we were saying how, what an idiot. Why doesn't he just she like let just like, her crash? On, like, like oh. he's like, oh, you gotta go now to your uh, hotel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you flew here like thousands of miles <laughs> and you're staying in a nearby hotel oh, and not in my idiot. house. What an Anywho, idiot. it didn't end well. <laughs> the point is, she's like, nah, I'm good. She like, breaks you know, down like on yeah, the last starts day, crying last few days. He's like upset, but he's like, I understand. She was like, what did she say exactly? She was like, yeah, I don't feel she's like, like... I don't feel like, like that about any, him. No. Anything's going on. So she's like trying out this relationship while her husband is like playing, playing Clash of Clans on her couch. game on his smartphone. <laughs> <laughs> whistling and not giving oh a shit. Oh my god, so stupid, man. Yeah, anywho's. So <laughs> the whole point of that was like the recruiting gig that I do. It's very interesting. It's like you don't meet people in person. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so a lot of times I feel I I kind of feel for him. I kind of feel for people because you actually some people you develop like a bond with, you know, on on the like just by Skyping with them. You, so you had like cyber sex experience. Ooh, no, I don't know. What that, I don't even know what that is. You, to be honest. Ha- you just ma- <clears throat> excuse me. You masturbate. On your monitor. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Nah, nah, but it's, it's like a smear. Oh, <laughs> smeagles? <laughs> you can be like a little smeagle jerking your. Look at you, do nasty role plays yeah. and shit, you nasty fuck. <laughs> Anywho's. You like so, role play. Dude, this week though, man, I fucking had this dude. I don't want to say his name. I gotta, I gotta get this shit out, man. For it's, I'm just pent up. This motherfucker. Oh, oh God, he like, so he's just like, really, he's like, oh, yeah, I got to get to Korea. And I don't want to say his name, but I really want to say his name. What no, no, no. Uh, <laughs> Some people gonna... are just fucking <laughs> weird and crazy. That's all I can say, man. It's just like you talk to them and you have an interview with them. You're like, oh, OK, he's a he's a he's a nice he's a dude. decent guy. Yeah. And he's like, yo, I got to get to Korea. I have no money. And so I'm like, all right, I'll get you a job ASAP. So I got him a job. The dude gets here, bro. In in our twenties, like, do you know anybody who who has never used a smartphone before? In this day and age, <laughs> no. That's a weird <laughs> like thing already, right? He, he uses a flip. He uses a flip phone. No, I, I don't know. He just like I never used a phone before. I'm like, what do you like, mean? Like a smartphone? Yeah. So he's <laughs> like, yo, when you get here, contact me on your Skype or like you know talk to me. Yeah. And the dude's like. I never use smartphone. I don't know what that is. I don't know. Like, I. Ha- what do you I mean? Like, I don't know what that is. Like, I. I he's no, no, never no. used it. No, yeah. He, he didn't I, say that. So he bought. He has like a smartphone now, right? He's like, okay. I don't. I've never really used a smartphone before. So I'm like, no, no, no. But just like you know, all you do is connect to wife. Anyway, so we, that's that. Whatever, right? So the dude comes to his school. Like this is just like two days ago. So the motherfucker comes. Um, the, the school, they don't need a teacher to start till like March, but they're like, all right, he really wants to come and he seems like a decent person and a teacher. So we're going to hire him earlier. Basically like 
you know, making space for this guy to come here. Mm -hmm. Like two months in advance, we'll buy you a new house so your ass can get here and teach. He comes here. He he chose like you can choose work hours nine to six or one to eight p.m. Right? Yeah. Uh huh. Isn't that fucking? If you're like a teacher, you do your research on those like those times, right? Nine to six is kindy elementary, younger uh -huh. kids. Uh huh. Yeah. Like one to eight in the yeah, evening yeah. is older kids. Uh huh. You don't fucking know that. Mm -hmm. So this dude, <laughs> he chose one to eight because I gave we gave him the option, and he comes and he starts. He's like, well, isn't that common out. sense? For him, it's like the hardest th thing in the world, dude. This guy's been teaching in like Asia for like other countries for like two, like a year or more why at would, least, why right? Why he know? Sorry. He was really upset about that, and this guy is really hot tempered. Like it's pretty bad. So like, where's he was, from? Um, he is from the UK. Oh, okay. but he was living in Australia. I don't know, but like anyhow. So this motherfucker is just like. So we Skyped uh, and he, cause he was like freaking out and his school was like, Hey, you need to talk to him right now. Cause, um, he didn't know that he was teaching elementary, like older kids. He really wanted to teach Kenny elementary. I was like, yeah, but that, come on. That's not a big deal. Right. It's not a big deal. Dude, you have experience. Fine. I'll talk to him. They're and kids. they're like, no, no, no. I don't even think he will be a good fit for Kenny elementary. So we don't want him to teach Kenny elementary either. So I, I Skype with this guy and dude, this, this boy started crying on the fucking camera. Oh, my God. This boy started crying. <laughs> like, bawling. Oh, my God. Like, talking about how he's like, he cannot teach, like, older kids. I was like, what the? He's like, I'm just really upset, man. I was like, <laughs> oh, fuck. This went on for, like, 20 minutes, brother. Oh, my God, It dude. was, like, terrible. Dude, that the school was so terrible. pissed. So they're like, yo, listen, you have to get us another fucking teacher because we bought him a house and shit. So what? It was really like this week was pretty tough because of that. There's some my point is there's some weird ass people. So they kicked him out. Obviously, he's a psychopath, right? Mm -hmm. Man, don't you feel this way, too? But a lot of like expats like who come here. A lot of people, not all, like some people definitely are really, really fucking awesome people. Like yeah. Keith yeah, and yeah, Hanukkah yeah. and like, mm -hmm. there's some really cool people. I have yeah. friends too, like Benji and all that. Yeah. A lot of other people though, do you feel this way too? It's like, they don't really fit in back home. Like yeah. Wherever they're from. Of course. So they're like, oh, Asia might be a better, like, they will accept me because I'm white no, or no, like but I'm the a thing foreigner. Is, the thing is, Joe, like, I think like that's, there's no problem in that if you're like okay. ostracized from your community uh -huh. because you're like um you're just maybe you might fit in the asian culture better right there's right. no problem I, uh -huh. I i have no problem with that but it's just if you are just a mentally troubled individual like yeah. you're there's something going on where it's you're harmful to others or you might be just like you just can't take care of yourself then that's when the problem comes and that's mm -hmm. if you're psychotic or whatever but this what? is the thing uh -huh. dog like people who are ostracized or quote unquote ostracized or like they're like kind of you know a little bit like frowned upon socially back home whatever uh -huh. right among their peers yeah like they they bring that they they have a weird ass element to them they're fucking weird they're like socially very inept or awkward Right. Or they're just like really weird in the head. Right, right. So and that's why they, they're like, all right, all right, might as well like take my chances elsewhere. And all this is Asia. <laughs> so yeah, they, yeah. They come here and they bring all that psychopath and weirdness <laughs> shit into this country. No, I understand what you're, what you you're know saying. You know what I'm saying? So but, but I don't care about but that. But there's really like two paths to that. I think yeah. I think there is that, well, the, the very extreme side that you just mentioned. Yeah, where there, there are really... Like very like um, visceral like just problems that they have mm -hmm. like something very deep within them that yeah. that they never solve themselves uh -huh. and then there's the people who are just socially like they they haven't found their like fit mm -hmm. which is okay which That's is fine. Ev everybody everybody has a place for them right 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 right, so, right. which is fine which That's is fine. totally fine that's bro. fine just don't yeah. bring your psychopath <laughs> like <laughs> killer <laughs> instincts shit and in, like you know what i'm saying i'm yo just, speaking about that yeah a teacher <laughs> uh, excuse me did you hear it? uh yeah. elementary school 
Oh, yo, drink my drink. My. I'm, oh, okay. I'm good. Dude, I'm already feeling it, brother. My God, I'm such weak sauce. Yeah. Uh, elementary school teacher. Fooked. Uh, sixth grader. Brother, do you did you hear like, that? No, did you hear that? I don't even want to hear that. Ew. No, you loved it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but she did. It, it, it's because, uh, from what I heard, she had already like pre-existing conditions. Uh, maybe, what, what, maybe what it's kind of, not. What kind of it, conditions it was, are we talking maybe, about? Maybe okay. Uh, I might be, I might be wrong, but um, I just know that she, she had some problems with her husband and like her husband's family. But I don't know what led. That's what. That's from what I heard, mm. and I don't understand how that translates to her being weird. <laughs> Maybe she was just born mm. that way, or her parents. How old is she? I'm not sure, but she has two kids. She's in her 30s, like 20, late 20s, 30s. I'm, I believe she's in her 30s. Okay, and so she uh, at her. first she wanted to, you know, buy some groceries for the kid. Get him a couple of cucumbers. Um, but uh, oh, I, mean, I, don't I don't think, know about I don't that. Think he's I don't know the one that needs about that detail. But uh, <laughs> but I know that she wanted his tail. So <laughs> oh, <laughs> and uh, between yeah. his legs, <laughs> and then yeah, that tiny yeah. sixth grade peen. Ooh. Yeah, that's what she inch. fucked. And then what happened to her? She's um, in the hosp- yeah, she got hospital. she got caught, she's, man. And, yeah, um, no, no doubt. <clears throat> So oh. now she's uh, going to prison for like <laughs> I don't know, you know, like the Korean laws Isn't it here. For they, life? Don't, they don't. They don't. You talking about you know, Korea? Is we're talking about Korea. Oh, so we're talking like, about Korea. Yeah, we're talking oh, about Korea. Oh, that happens all the time in the states. I thought it was like another story. But not elementary school. I I mean, we've heard like middle and high school, but elementary is not really in, much in the states. Yo, sixth grade but in Korea. Like sixth grade, yo, sixth graders in Korea are okay. I think there's a big difference. But then again, there's that age thing. So then again, you have to think because Korea is the only country where your age one yeah. from where you're born. Mm-hmm. So like they are technically middle schoolers. I mean, what do you think, right? Isn't See, that's, that right? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. So like <laughs> in Korea, sixth graders seem a little younger than American sixth graders because. Mm-hmm. Because of uh, strictly the fact that they're still considered elementary mm-hmm. students, yeah. So that that like label as a, you're an elementary student makes them more like immature. I feel overall, yeah. don't you feel like it's a psychological of course, thing too? Of course. Dude. So, dude, you fuck a sixth grader here. You're like, you're fucking a little baby, bro. Yeah. That is the, the deranged man. I mean, she has two kids. Like his age. Ooh. No, no, like no, no, like no. I mean, they're like little babies, but still, Bro. like you, you fooked, and then you birthed like two, ki- two kids, right? So like, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so like, oh. um, it's very weird because you're fooking a baby, oh, God, like I mean, a child fooking. <laughs> <laughs> so it's very, very weird, dude. That is disgusting. Yeah, brother. And I don't even want to. Oh God, I hate that kind. Yeah, Dude, Lord. do you feel like a Jeez. lot, a lot more of that shit is going on in the states? Hey, man, all these sexual allegations with the with our favorite people. Oh my God, what's going on in the states? Bro, what Louis is, C.K., no, no, no. one of our favorite yeah. comedians. Yeah, man, Holy like Kevin Spacey shit. and shit. Too. Kevin, Kevin Spacey, Spacey. So he's gay, right? Well, yeah. Like I think I mean, that basically part like, about him or bisexual, whatever the case is. It's been known, I think, but but n- not but, that portion of him, like, but him fucking being grabbing like, dick and shit, like, <laughs> dude, the sexual misconduct part of him, yeah, we didn't know, but I'm feeling like in Hollywood they have their own little culture, and it kind of reminds me. Am I safe to say that it's kind of like Korean culture mm-hmm. in companies because they have so much power. And like they kind of disregard like the you know a woman for being you know just like they just disregard her rights. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, like, yeah, during, I mean, during uh, Hwesik, which is like uh, what's Hwesik, Joe? All right, you're right about that. Okay, so yeah. Hwesik is uh, it's basically work dinner, right? It's work dinner. Yeah, you guys company can dinner, company dinner but or drinks, this is and the they thing. get a little ratchet. Oh, really? This is the thing, man. Um. You leave before your supervisor to go home at a company dinner and you are a female and you are like one of the youngest ones in your 20s. Like you will get scolded. 
You yep. will be fired. So you must attend. And you got to drink all of their shots. From the higher ups. And you got to guide them home. Guide them to their bed? No, no, not to the bed. Uh-huh. Like, don't look at me like that when you said bed. <laughs> Driving manual? Bed? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. They have to take care of them. Uh-huh. Like hold their hands. And also they what they do is they go. <laughs> Want some milk? <laughs> Oh God! They go to they go to Nore Bangs together after, oh. right? Nore Bangs are like karaoke's in Korea. So Nore means song, and Bang yeah. means uh, um, room. room. <laughs> <laughs> so they would all go to this Nore Bang, right? <laughs> Just Nore Banging all night. Yeah. You know what I'm song and, and Bang. That's all I got. These say. younger, like especially the girls, they gotta make the mood. They gotta set the mood. So they gotta be like singing and like. So they're expected, yeah, they're expected. to kind of set the mood. Yeah, you can't just be quiet and shit at oh. a company dinner. Everyone's like, what are you doing? Get your ass up there and sing. Sing oh, right now. I see. Come on, get that tambourine over. You know, you know that shit? You're a monkey. Dance. <laughs> Dance. Dance for me, boy. <laughs> <laughs> or in this case, girl. Yeah. It's right. pretty bad, man. Mm, so yeah. that's a company like culture in Korea. Like I said, like, isn't, isn't, isn't that... Uh, Kind You're talking of about Hollywood, good, yeah, because yeah. they're more powerful and shit. Doesn't yeah. it kind of reflect on like the Korean company culture here? Yeah, I just felt like that. I, I, I was, it's, it's, it's kind of similar. Yeah, I was like, wow, man, like, why would they do that? Oh, because they have power. Oh, because they feel like they can do whatever the fuck they want. Because mm-hmm. you know, for them, they're living in a their own world, their own mm. bubble. So I just that and they get away with a lot of things. I and just, f- as for Korea, like you know, someone with a position of power, they mm. can get a lot. Get, they can get away with a lot of things. Even going, uh, I might be stretching it, but even like the Big Bang guy, like Tesla, top or whatever, top whatever, like they they you can kill someone, right? Mm. Like you could be drunk driving or whatever the case was. I forgot what it was, but you could be driving. You could kill someone and mm. you could just be like let off. I mean, whatever. Did he get let off? Well, yeah. Well, Korea's like, first of all, Korea, Korea's law, law enforcement policies yeah. are f- fucking terrible. Oh, yeah. Like if you if you were drunk and you raped a girl and killed her, you'll be let off in 10 years. Oh, right. I right, mean, because right. you were drunk, you were not thinking on thinking right. Yeah. So basically you were not under your own will. Yeah. Like, dude, are you kidding me? Yeah, this yeah, little poor. Oh, there's a story of this guy, this this fucking pedophile rapist, like um serial killer rapist. Mm-hmm. He raped this like six year old girl or something. Jesus Christ. Uh huh. Her her insides were torn apart. Oh my lord. Like, oh forgive me, bro. Her intestines were spilling out of her fucking body. You know what I'm saying? This dude oh is is god. let out. I, I think he was let out last last week. Oh my god! Like now after, he's gonna go back after at ten it years again. or some shit. Koreans, Bro. for you folks, bring don't let your kids go out on the streets <laughs> after. Don't let them play after in the playground five. alone. Yeah, yeah, because they're gonna be freaky. snatched. <laughs> yeah, that's not good. And that's what I see a lot about. Like, I mean, that's what I see a lot in Korea. Like. These parents, they don't have. I would, I would, I would say I'm confident to say that they don't have good parenting skills as much as Americans do. So, like, mm. do you see a lot of elementary, middle school students. They're just on the streets, like you know what I mean. Like uh, in in America, I feel like they trying to get them involved in some programs or whatever, some lessons, or they have play dates and there's some super some type of supervision. I, but mm. as for Korea, it's just like. You're you're in a hug one, so mm. do whatever you want. Buy something on the street or whatever. I also think it's because like America, we, we deal with more problems like serious, but guns and fucking drugs and shit. Like there, are, do you ever do you ever like take those have those things in, in school, like dare, like dare programs? Oh, yeah, uh, they would come and like tell you to like like these police officers would come and like give you a lecture about like you know don't yeah, yeah, don't smoke course. and don't you know. yeah. I mean, it's more like you know. There are more drug related problems with younger kids in America than there are, you know, than obviously Korea. But like, mm-hmm. but like, yeah, overall, like Koreans are because they the kids study so much. Yeah. Their parents just kind of want to let them off the hook a little bit, you know, mm-hmm. like all all kids in Korea until you're like you graduate high school. You're not going to make friends if you don't go to like private schools after after school. 
it's pretty wow. sad you know what i'm Jeez. saying like yeah. you know so that's how it is but um yeah that's so it's a point. situation yeah. that they can't avoid they they yeah. are most students go to private academies so they're kind of on during their break time or maybe they might be playing hooky mm -hmm. and they're just out on the streets man uh, that's what i see a lot mm -hmm. they i just generally generally i just see them uh, um on the streets a lot compared at, to the states dude at, at least like <laughs> there's nobody going to little elementary schools and shooting up little kids that's true like dude that still happens a lot, right? Yeah, you man. know, in the states, it's just yeah. a, such a big problem. Guns, gun, guns are. That's a totally different subject we can also talk about later on. But yeah, um, we have about ten minutes. Yeah, ten. Ooh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, yeah. yo, you ever you you hear about the um the North Korean guy who's escaped? All right. So for those of you folks who haven't been watching the news, um, so some uh. This one North Korean dude, he was driving down the road that connects to the DMZ. Yeah. <clears throat> and he was just flooring it. And then pretty much the car uh, got stuck near the DMZ line. And then, uh, yeah, he, you know, took off. And the people, the North Korean soldiers had noticed him. And so they were pretty much all chasing him down and he somehow escaped there's a pretty pretty dramatic mm. video on cnn yeah, or dude, youtube it's pretty crazy. you should look it up yourself. the thing is that his his he was like driving full speed yeah. trying to get across the border yeah his car gets stuck in a ditch yeah it's not moving the thing is he could have got out and started running but he wanted to get the car like running yeah i mean he I could, just keep trying but so you know what i could understand i can understand desperation. Too, so you're that, very by the time he got out of the car there's like like hundreds of North Koreans, he got shot at by like like forty times. He got shot five times, and still. What made does it. that tell you about their marksmanship? Yeah, you <laughs> suck, yo! Did like, you, didn't you, you see the video? They were like right there. Yeah, it was How really you, bad. I mean, granted, okay, I understand shooting isn't as easy as it seems like in the FPS but bro, games, but you are. You know what I'm saying. So Soldiers you're, of the you're JSA, like uh, the from DMZ this area. Head. You, the best of the best are supposed to be there, oh, are they Lord. not? Right? Yeah. So that kind of tells you that's just they're just in uniforms. It's just for show, and and one guy actually crossed the the, the line. He crossed right? the border. Yeah. So, so that's they're what's putting sanctions on him. I mean, lot. on, on uh, North yeah. Korea now. I mean, maybe? come on, there's. US Enough sanctions, man. Like, just let's just get this going on. You know what I'm saying? And what they found is uh, pretty much he was helicoptered all the way down yeah. to he Suwon. Survived. Yeah, he's the, he the hospital in Suwon, which is a city right below Seoul, right? It's mm -hmm. a satellite city or whatever they call it. Yeah, right? Suwon is in, yeah, it's in Gyeonggi, uh, east or uh, west of Pundang, where I live, yeah. Yeah, but south of Seoul. Yeah. So uh, pretty much they did that because one of the doctors there, he's very... Uh, He's um, um, very well known because he volunteered to go save like some people that that were near Somalia or mm -hmm. maybe they were in the waters that were in the area of Somalia. Then um, pretty much like what He's happened was mm -hmm. what happened was there was like a Korean ship, I think, mm -hmm. and they had, you know, some valuables and there were pirates like in the movie what's that movie captain with the, phillips T captain phillips with tom hanks and pretty much like these somalians they they hijacked it and then they uh they they injured um some of these korean folks and he volunteered he was like maybe one of the yeah, few hero. or only right. one that went down there to mm. um resuscitate or was it really, uh, whatever he he uh Whatever he did, he he he's a freaking hero. Yeah, and so they brought him down to that dude. Right. So he survived. The guy survived. the The guy woke up. The North Korean guy woke up. We have about seven minutes left, and the guy woke up. He was still freaking out. He was like, "Fuck, where am I?" He didn't know where he was. Talk about what they found. Oh God! So like, <laughs> okay, the first thing you gotta do is, oh, you know, they gotta take the bullets out. So they open the nurse like. They opened this guy's like you know stomach part and like the chest area, and they ew split that shit open. <laughs> the first thing they see are a bunch of fucking worms, bro. Parasites. Yeah, 
What is that like? Twenty two centimeters long. Like Twenty seven centimeters. That's or like something? eleven inches, man. Ooh. That is disgusting. Yeah, man. And the reason for that is because North Korean food they still fertilize their vegetables with feces. Oh, where from? Which feces? Uh, probably humans. So that's what they say. They said it's from human feces, yes. man. That's this. And if they th- 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 used mine, the they would have been dead a long time ago. Oh lord! So yeah. I mean, we don't Korea all these McDonald's in rural <clears throat> areas still in South Korea. We they do some parts use feces, human for, feces. No cows oh. and yeah, animals right, right, for right. fertilization. Yeah, but North Korea. There are not enough animals around. They're all eaten. Yeah, so they. <laughs> like, dude, you see a cow, you are gonna, you're like running to that fucking cow. Yeah, you're, you're just killing killing, pe- killing people and cows in, in the same time. Yeah, trying man. to eat everything. I'll it's do raw. the same. I'll be the first to just take Hell a stab yeah, at it dude. and just uh, eat it raw. Oh, but uh, one of the things, <laughs> one of the things that they say about um, the human uh, feces. Uh, uh, before they fertilize, <laughs> so they they just said that they don't have enough money to uh, sanitize it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. If they had sanitized the 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 fertilizer, right. then is, it would have been okay. There's but virtually they, no money in the country. Nah, they don't have money for those chemicals no, or whatever no. or not. So that's why these people are getting fooked. So oh. actually, they're dying in the inside. So oh, man, you dude. know, U.S. is pressing a lot of like you know China with uh, with the trades and stuff. It's disgusting, brother. They're dying, brother. This guy woke up and he's like, "Oh fuck, where am I?" And basically, like this, he only talks to one nurse still because he didn't trust nobody so he everyone clears out this one nurse she's like really pretty and stuff so he she would like talk to him and wait they she, intentionally sent a pretty nurse yeah probably so what like probably yeah what m- most likely I was just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> no no no. okay of course because that's you know for a dude that's probably one of the first thing you want to see is a pretty girl when you wake up and you're like <sighs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> this is what i see on the porn oh so oh. she the first thing she does is turn on like sonia shide girls generation songs like okay pop. that's a korean girl group yeah like da, da, da. oh my <laughs> god so he's like he gets really happy about that shit so he's like starting to like respond more to people's like questions. All you see is like his uh, bona popping out oh, of the, God. the sheets. You just see like these like a little <laughs> lump. It's like <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, oh, <laughs> shaking. Hey, what is that? Oh explode. my lord! It's like Pompeii. But anyways, anyways yeah. hey man, we're out of time. So yeah, we man, we is we is. It was a. Uh, it was. Uh, it's finally good to have you join. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Yeah, man. Of course. Yo, for people out there, you got to try, if you really want to be Koreano, Ew. you got to try the Dweji Mori. So, I've been into that shit lately. So. so that means pig head? Yeah, pig head. You're just ripping off their fucking head. <laughs> <laughs> so they, they... I know you like the second part. But... <laughs> <laughs> Ew. Uh, head? <laughs> pig or head? <laughs> Anyhow. Head. Okay. So pig head is pretty good, man. They're like They have like... Yo, poor pigs, man. We eat every part of their entire body, yeah, including their little toes and ears and Ew. everything. So their well, pig we'll head is really good. Yeah. More later, but uh, they got yeah. liver and everything. Anyway, try that out. Yeah, it's good. Okay, all right, man. So uh, yeah, you guys can check us out on iTunes, Google yes, Play Music, and Stitcher. Google Play Music is only in U.S. and Canada, and also check us out on uh youtube for the video version to see our beautiful faces so, so yes all right uh, that's a wrap that's brother. a wrap for episode right, 14. see you guys next week please subscribe to support us all right there you have it folks. peace out thanks for the support we love you all all we'll right see you again peace